Okay, I got my brother Lloyd here, and we're going to completely redo these hives. Oh, wait, wait, we got, we got it. Hold on. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not, not terrible. <coughs> They're pretty tame. Yeah, they are. Calm right now. I don't see any swarm cells. Okay, what's all that stuff going on there? What stuff? All these. Drone, is that just wild drone comb? Drone comb. Okay. That's drone comb. Uh, I'm gonna just do this. This is gonna be a little bit of a challenge here. Dump it. How are we gonna do it? Uh, let's put it. Hey, Chloe, do it. Thank you. It's coming to catch the hell out of it. It's really. So smart. Really neat. So the other day when my brother Lloyd was here, I'm not sure if everything happened so fast, if he actually got what we were trying to do, but we put this additional super on and we're going to check today to see if the bees are moved into there, how they're, if they're actually making any honey. Cause right now it's a heavy honey flow. Uh, it's a warm day today. So they should be making a lot, bringing in a lot of nectar. So, but what we did is we, we put the, uh, this second brood box that was on top we had two brood boxes and the second one, we took it off and put it on the bottom because the queen tends to move up, I guess. And I'm a novice, but I'm just learning these things. The queen moves up into the top. So <clears throat> the idea was we wanted to put the queen to the bottom. So when we put this super on, the queen would move right into the super. We want that for honey. We don't want brood to go in there. So the other option that a lot of people do is put a queen excluder down. And I'll have to check into that, get my own opinion because I'm not totally sure about that. Lloyd says that he doesn't like the queen excluders because it just creates interruption in the flow and it's harder for the bees to get through there and all that. So we'll see, I don't know. Uh, I might use it later, but right now the idea was to put this, the top brood box on the bottom so by the time the queen moves through there, the, the workers have already gotten into this super up here and then she won't move into that. So we'll see what happens. We're gonna open it up now and uh, look inside and see if we've got, uh, if they're moving uh, nectar into there. So I'm gonna have to fire up my smoker here. And these bees are really nice and tame. They're really good to work with. I've never even gotten stung yet, but there's always a first time I realize that. Might be crazy working out here in short sleeves, but I don't know. I haven't got stung yet, so I guess we'll see what happens. And the super bees are I know. Did you see one for the oak? Crack muscle, Justin. 
Yep, they moved in. Nice. <coughs> Okay, let's pull out a... Ooh, look at that. They're all crawling around on there. Oh, yeah, there's already some honey in there, some nectar. I want honey. Nice. They're already working it. Nope. Ooh, so full. Oh, yeah, they're cleaning it up really well, and they're, they're busy on it, building out some comb, looks like. It's good. It's awesome. Okay, we'll come back in a few days we'll check it again so it looks like they moved in there that's good and uh, that's what we wanted to see and we'll see if they fill that thing up soon all right This morning we're working in our jungle of greenery and we're picking strawberries. Got the whole family out here picking strawberries. Did you find some strawberries, Chloe? Okay. So this huge strawberry, well, it's not huge, but it's just like a jungle. We need to kind of thin them out a little bit. And uh, ooh, I found a couple big ones there. Next year we need to kind of make more rows. It's just one big, one big jungle. Okay, Chloe, show me your strawberries. Did you pick those, Chloe? Yeah. Oh wow, good job. They look delicious. This is already our second or third picking that we've done, and there's still a lot left in here. Dig in there, Wyatt, and show me a strawberry. <laughs> Tell me when you see one. Oh, there's some. Nice. We got them planted all the way around this fruit tree right here. One thing about our garden is we, I'm not into having perfect rows with everything. We just kind of plant things around. Like we planted some tomatoes up here, or potatoes, under our fruit trees. We planted here, we planted some tomatoes under our fruit trees, just kind of random things. Just trying to just try different things. Big potatoes right here. There's an apricot tree that's gonna have some nice apricots on it. You can see them right in there somewhere. There they are. Oh, no, not apricots. These are Red Haven peaches. What am I thinking? Now, here's our supply of strawberries that we picked this morning. Yeah. Nice, nice bowl full. It's towards the end of picking, so it wasn't as many as before, but... Let me sample them, make sure they're good still. <laughs> I make a good strawberry shortcake. Mm. It's just really good with them. That's so good, I have another one. Well, we thought we'd just show you around the garden a little bit and kind of give you an update on how our things are growing. And every year gardening is a big experiment. Some things do well, some years, other years, other things do better and some don't do so good. So we'll just show you what we do, what we've got going on. And uh, some things are nice, some things aren't as nice, but that's the nature how, how it works. Go ahead, babe. 
So right here we have a whole row of purple cabbage and carrots and there's red beets down there. Then we have a whole bunch of onions and a row of kohlrabi here. And because nothing grew right here, for some reason, the carrots didn't come up here or the kohlrabi, so I just quickly sewed in some lettuce. So I, we have some fresh lettuce coming up. Now what's with the onions? There's not too many onions. Are these like sweet sweet onions or these walla are walla? walla? Yeah, walla walla, and we ate a lot of them already. Okay, yeah. already picked through those. Yeah. Our, pota our tomatoes are doing pretty good, except it doesn't look like we're getting as many tomatoes as we normally would, think we would. So there's a lot of flowers, so maybe they're just, now we, it's been so cool that, I mean, we literally, it's weird. This is going towards the middle of July mm -hmm. and first half of July still. And we've had so much cool weather. The other day it was 66 degrees, like as warm as it got. It's cloudy and, and uh, so I'm not sure why, but everything is just slower this year. Everything is just like three weeks behind, seems like two or three weeks behind. Yeah. So it's growing. Um, you can see that finally our cucumbers are taking off. No, not cucumbers. <laughs> oh, what are these? These are muskmelon, actually. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, we planted those up here. Okay. Oh, here, here is actually a cucumber. It's weird. I don't know why. I must have gotten <coughs> a cucumber seed in this watermelon. I mean, this muskmelon. These are, yeah, pie pumpkins and then butternut squash. On the bottom. Yeah. So everything's coming out pretty good as you can see. Our watermelon is literally just starting. It's hard to believe that we're still going to get watermelon. I think we will, but it's again a little bit, it's growing super slow. Um, but it's just the last week or so it seems like it's starting to, to pop up. We just can get some hot weather then everything is going to grow pretty well I think. Yeah, if we get some hot weather for a little while, this, these watermelons are just going to pop. They're just going to grow like right. crazy. And, and they're, they're calling, they're saying that it could be, even though it was an unusually warm or cool and a wet spring, this summer and fall could be uh, a little warmer. So we'll see. Our zucchini are really doing well. We actually picked one off the other day. They're just starting to come out. Let me see. Oh, look here. Just a little small zucchini right there. Nice. And then we have these two plants are the yellow zucchini or the yellow summer squash and they're coming out pretty quickly and nicely. The summer squash are really good to put on the grill. You just put on the grill and lightly grill them. Yeah, with olive oil and salt and pepper. And these are starting to come up, these string beans along there and our cucumbers along here. Yeah, I have cucumbers here and string beans here or pole beans actually, they're blue lake pole beans and I can't wait till they grow all the way over. All right, I'll still, do that. I still want to put these stakes here on this side to kind of help pull this thing nice and centered, although it won't fall over the way it is. And then over here, we've got our peas are growing pretty well. Their peas look really good this they year. They look amazing. They're actually really look well. Healthy, nice and healthy. Our corn. Looks like it's doing pretty good. Now it's, I've always said knee high by the 4th of July. And this stuff is just barely knee high. To me, this is like, like I said, it's typically it would be up to about right here. So it's definitely way it's a little uh, slower, slower than normal, but it's getting there. Yeah. Uh, we planted some smaller, there's smaller corn on the other side. Uh, we planted that later. And then we've got a number of varieties of uh, potatoes growing in here. I'll show you our garlic here. I'm kind of proud of this garlic. I think this is probably the best garlic that I've ever seen that we've grown. The tallest and best looking. Now we've already picked the scapes off of here. If you look close here, you can see that this top has been picked off right here. Uh, that was a scape that grows up and it curls around and the story on a scape is if you let the scape grow to seed, that can become the seed for next year's plant. But we break it off so that all the energy goes into the bulb, and so then it creates a larger bulb. So these are just starting to, to die off. I actually have to turn off my water to these. Um, but because everything's hooked up into one system, I'm going to have to literally pull off the hoses and plug my 
my main line, these need to have no water for a couple weeks so that they kind of mature and dry out. Once you can see these leaves are just starting to die here. Once about half of these leaves are brown, then it's time to pick the plant. Uh, and then we'll pull it and then we'll let it dry. But these are really, our garlic is really nice. I'm hoping for some big bulbs this year. Our stalks are really thick, so I'm, I'm thinking we might just have a nice crop. And here we have our red raspberries. They're thornless and it looks like we're gonna have a massive crop right. this year. We're gonna be in here, wow. the children are gonna be in here mornings just having their breakfast of raspberries. So, and it's like, right here is a pathway, but 20 it's still yards growing long. over. So, right in here. Yeah, when, in this the spring, this spring, it was hard to believe that we would get much because it was just like these little stalks growing up, yeah. but now it's just covered. And if we don't know where the kids are at, they're usually out in the in raspberry patch just eating <laughs> their fill. And we have yellow ones, half of them, or not quite half, but our yellow ones, and those are really good yeah, just ever to Yeah, ever yellow ones are so good. Yeah. Our honeybees are all, all over this, these. Actually, it's about past, but they're still buzzing around here a little bit. But yeah, these are amazing. They're over six feet tall. Yeah. Should get a lot of them. It was a wet year and raspberries like wet, so they really grew. This year, it looks like I think we're gonna get a decent amount of these blackberries. Uh, last year, we didn't get any actually, but that was my mistake. I didn't know better and I chopped them down to the roots and you can't do that. It's the same as, as, ra as raspberries, you have to let the stalks they grow, the, ber the berries grow on last year's growth. So all these are from last year. Now what do we have here, babe? Here are our black raspberries and these have um, thorns. Thorny kind of and they're a lot smaller, yeah. but they're really good. They have to get all dark and purple, almost black. Priscilla's herb garden kind of needs some, some work. <laughs> she would like to have it over at the other end of the garden so it's closer. She would have to come all the way over here to get to her herbs. But this thing for some reason just tends to get so weedy we don't know what to do about it. Somehow it just wants to get overrun. So it's always a challenge to keep this up. So we might have to move it or something. But right now she's got oregano, thyme. No, chives. 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 And I have a little thing of thyme here. And What's this stuff here? Parsley. Okay. It's kind of... And I actually don't know what this stock is. This is it's like a Chinese. A neighbor something. gave us this and it just really shoots up, but we haven't been able to use it really because we don't know what it is. And over here, I have a beautiful comfrey plant. And I sometimes make, uh, comfrey is good for like- A lot of things. Uh, well, it's good for a lot of things. Yeah, you just have to look it up. <clears throat> but I sometimes make smoothies with it, even though it says maybe you shouldn't take it internally, but I think it's talking about the roots, not the leaves. So this is our, some of our roses that we have here. Um, do you know what kind these are, babe? I don't. <laughs> we forget what kind of roses, but these are a nice pink. I don't even think they smell that, that they do. nice. They do have a pretty good smell. They, they do? But, yeah. I never could smell them much. But they're not very strong. I don't know. They have to be very fresh. And then we have some ro red ones over here that are really nice. These are my favorite for sure. Beautiful red roses. They really look nice when you're outside looking at the garden. And our grape, our favorite grape that we have here went, went and died on us last year. And I don't know why I pruned it in the fall instead of the spring. I don't know if that had anything to do with it. But I did the other ones as well and they survived. But we were elated to see that out of the root, we have a new grape stalk growing. So that's pretty cool. We're excited about that. So next year we'll have grapes again on this one here. So we'll have to start all new. I have to get rid of all this vine, but at least we'll have good, the good grapes growing. And then if you look here behind, right here, if you look over here, you can see this. there's a whole wall of, of grapes and there's a lot of grapes growing. We're gonna have a lot of little grapes or big grapes hopefully soon, but it takes a while. It's gonna take another month before they're ready. So let's go ahead and take a look to see how our potatoes are doing growing out of the straw. I'm not sure if the experiment is working too well. 
If you go past this tree, you can see this thing's it's diseased. It's a plum, but it just is not, I don't know, it's got problems. I'm gonna have to cut it down. I don't know what the problem is with it. Okay, so let me show you our potatoes here. I don't think our experiment did very well. Uh, you can see they're growing out of here, but just not very many of them. I think probably what happened, a couple things is it was too tight. Uh, it did, just did not grow. Uh, it couldn't grow, it was too tight. And uh, maybe a little bit too cool up here in the upper end of the garden. Um, it was wet enough, maybe it was too wet. I'm not sure what's going on, but I guess we'll see how many we can get out of here. And then the next year, we'll, we have the straw here that we can always reuse it. So experiment, that's how it goes. We garden and experiment. Well, thank you so much for watching another episode here at Montana Haven about our honeybees and our garden, how it's coming along. We hope you enjoyed it and uh, learned a few things. Hopefully it's informative for you. And we've got a lot more videos coming up, so stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. We love each one of you. We hope you enjoy our videos and enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you.